commission. <clears throat> and that's basically what your income is going to be. We can calculate that. It is that simple. Because numbers are so loyal, you got to write it down. And like I said, it's a living document. It's a living document. <coughs> you didn't make it to that $3,000 a month in your second month because you're still, still trying to figure this out. If right here you write 100 in the first month, okay, you know what? I'm still working, I'm making that $1,000. So you move it to the second month. It's a living document, it's up to you. The people that brought you into the business and the people above them can work with you and figure out the math to know how many people you could bring on a daily basis, mm -hmm. to have them sign up on a daily basis, to have them actually buy product on a weekly basis so you can get a check. Why? Because our business is Monday through Sunday, and at 12 a.m. midnight, it's a cutoff. So any business you bring in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, <coughs> Sunday, gets calculated the next week, and it gets paid on Friday, so you get it Monday, <coughs> Tuesday, or Wednesday in the mail. If you work every day from now on, for the rest of your life, this company will pay you week after week after week after week, because it's worked on, it's calculated, it's paid. It's worked on, it's calculated, it's paid. It's worked on, it's calculated, it's paid. So if you sit with your leaders, so the upline, the people that brought you into business, say, I want to make this much money a week, perfect. Okay, let me show you what that looks like. If everybody comes in and all they have is $50 at purchase every single month, this is what the total volume is on a weekly basis, which means you have to have these many people. But to have these many people, you know that it's actually the 5 the 50% rule. Out of every 10 people, you get five that sign up, so five sign up. You know, you can do the math and you can tell them, you should have at least 50 people coming in a week or 25 people coming in a week. You know, and if you do it, but if you don't do it by yourself, you do it with others, it'll be easier. So if you gotta have 50, then what do you say you get 10 together, and with the 10, we teach them how to get five each. Easier, huh? Yes. I mean, we can do that. That's why this part of the exercise, the very first week was so important, so that everybody can start getting into, let's put down some goals. Without goals, your business, this one or any other business, is not gonna work. Without goals, nothing will work. Why? Because you have no direction. There's no roadmap to success. It's just, I want to do it. Well, do what? I don't know. <laughs> so, <laughs> you got to have this. Now, week number two, which is last time we met? Last time we met, right? Week number two? Yes. And the, the homework here was this thing that we call the Edison T. Now, <clears throat> sometimes people get lost in themselves. And I mean that seriously. You see, there comes a point in time when you think you know it all. Because it came from me. There comes a point in time when you say to yourself, you know what? There's nothing you can teach me. I already know everything. And then do the head like this. <laughs> 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 there comes that time. You can't do nothing about that. I mean I maybe got got there already. At least once in your life. You can be honest. Okay. Once in your life? <laughs> yeah, that's actually, you get there. Now, the younger guys, you know, 18, 19, 17, maybe not quite yet, but there, there does come that time. And there's nothing wrong with it. And believe me, I'm not making anybody wrong. It's just, it is what it is, right? It's part of life. Yeah. And when we talk about this part of it, it's difficult because you get to really see yourself. Because you see, <clears throat> in order for you to get here, you got to be a certain individual to have that appear in your life. It doesn't just happen out of osmosis. For instance, some of the goals could be, I want a beautiful house on the mountain with a bad, badass car parked in the garage, right? Right, that's your mark. I'm getting the DB9, yes. <laughs> yes, the DB9 is what I ordered on its way. Hmm. That's why I haven't bought one yet, because I'm waiting for that one to come in. But, <coughs> you know, you have this nice car in the garage, Right? Um, beautiful kids, beautiful wife. You want it all. You have all these goals. You want to make a lot of money. You want to have a lot of people on your team. You want to do so many things. To do that, you've got to be a certain person mm -hmm. to make that happen. Because being a certain person that doesn't allow for that to show up, you'll never get there. It'll never happen. Now, you take that into the business, it works the same way on a micro level. To make a certain amount of money and to attract people to your business, first of all, you gotta be attractive. And by that I mean as a human being. You know, you can't be mean, mean, <clears throat> you can't be upset, pissy, and always like 
snapping at people, you know, right. how come you didn't get dressed up today? What were you? Look at what time it is. You know, did you bring any people? <laughs> That's a famous word around. Did you bring anybody? <laughs> you know, you, you gotta be the right person in this business for all the things that you want in life to appear. Absolutely. And we did a lot of examples about what kind of a person doesn't work in this business. And we asked a lot of people to raise their hand and tell, tell us, what about you doesn't work in your life? And a lot of people were very honest. Some, some people said they're being mean, they're being always angry, upset, lazy. Um, what was the other one? Whiny. There were so many. Negative. Does anybody have one here? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work. You, just, you come up with that. Like, uh, <coughs> Go to fear? Fearful. That's, it doesn't work. You know, you go up to a person, you're like, there's no fear. <laughs> you know, fearful it's, doesn't it's work. Real. You know, you want to make all this money and have a million people on your team, but you're afraid to talk to people. Uh -huh. That doesn't work. So we talked about all these things. Anybody else have one? Just stuff that doesn't work in the business or in your life, around your life. Procrastination. 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 How many of you guys procrastinate? Tomorrow. 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 <laughs> Good Sandy. Any, any other one besides procrastination? Negativity. Negativity. The lack of speech. Well, it's near mine. It comes up with fear. Sorry. <laughs> 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 you know, being a, being a person that's, that's like shut in or just Doubt. quiet. Introverted. Introverted yeah. is actually the word. Lack of people skills. Lack of people skills, yeah. In introverted. Shy. Right? Shy is actually, you know, something that doesn't work. So. What we talked about is all these little areas in your life in which <coughs> when they set in, they create something. And what they're creating is a being, who you are being in that moment. So we asked everybody to become present to that. So the homework was to make an Edison T. You see, Thomas Edison figured a lot of things out with this famous thing called the T. Mm -hmm. And in the training that we gave, we actually help people create this because once you do it, once and we had a great time. It was actually pretty cool. Um, we got a lot of people involved. Last week we had about uh, 685 people in the place. Our very first meeting in New York. And we have different groups that came over from different places. And the majority of the folks there uh, have experience because they come from other companies. So you know, it was a blessing. It was a blessing for us to be there with that caliber of people. So we're going to have some really good, successful times out there. So when you guys are ready, you guys have folks in other states, let us know. We can help you prosper in other states. This is very simple. All we do is just share the business. We just share with people what we're doing. We share the product, and then we also share the opportunity. That's it. Two things. That's all we work on. So um, I want to actually close the door, because it's distracting me like crazy. <laughs> 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 and uh, you also was supposed to give me some coffee. <laughs> Your mom for a minute. Okay. So thank you for coming. Thank you. Yeah. Yay! Um, yeah. um, it's kind of a different kind of a day today because today is just training, but we also have a presentation opportunity, and I'm sure more people are going to be trickling in as we go. By the time we're done, this, this place will be full. So you say six o'clock, they come at seven. You say six thirty, they come at seven thirty. You know, typical the Latinos and. You said African American too? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and Southern. What is that? Color people time. Color people <laughs> 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 It gets like that. But yeah. You know, so welcome. Thank you for being here and thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule. Um, actually uh, your son, he's really up to something. And that's what's really cool. You know, I how old are you? Twenty two. Twenty two? Man, I wish I had learned this at twenty two. <coughs> If I had started at 22, I would own an island right now <laughs> and make a whole bunch of more businesses. Because it's really that kind of a business. It's the kind of business that can get you really what you want in life by using other people's efforts, other people's time, money, and ideas. And it helps you make a lot, a lot of money. Yeah. So it's pretty awesome. Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you? Good. You guys can sit up. Yeah. come forward. It's okay. Yeah. Over here. The way we keep it nice and nice and snug. Hello, Mr. David. Are you going to do a training or a presentation, sir? I'm going to do the training, but she's going to finish off with the presentation because after my training, I got to go. And how long is it going to take, my friend, sir, doctor, engineer? 
long do you want Magician. to be? Eh? An hour, two hours? Okay. okay. And that's because there's a, a, a gentleman that just came in for the first time, and uh, I don't know if he's, would you advise me to uh, invite him into your, your session and then? He speaks English? He's very bilingual, yes sir. Yeah, bring him in here. Because after this is the, the presentation. Okay, perfecto. Yeah. Would you give me permission to come in then with these uh, new guests? Just you, not not just him, not you. Not me, okay. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Everybody's a joker all of a sudden. Okay, so um, first time here? Okay, so welcome. What's your name? Anna. Anna nice. and Maria. Maria? Ricky. Ricky, thank you guys for being here. Really appreciate that. Thank you for taking the time to come out and check us out tonight. Um, on Thursday nights, we've started a training system in which we're actually really creating something in people's lives. It's like the company that we're, we're working with doesn't really do the traditional thing that most companies do, which is they get people involved and, okay, out you go. You know, see how it goes for you. It doesn't work like that. This is a little bit more like, okay, you're involved now. Now let me really teach you and show you what to do. Because the reality is most people fail when there is no information. Um, there's actually a saying that says that you know our, our people perish because of lack of wisdom. The reality is this company is taking on a really different position in which they want to first get people involved and then teach and train them how to do this business. And it's really cool. What we're creating today is actually called uh, Gano Life University. It's, it's kind of taking that shape and it's now in its second week, maybe third week, where we're really taking it seriously that we have to get everybody trained, everybody really into how this whole thing works. You see, for many years, network marketing has existed, and in, in the beginning it worked very well. Nobody knew what this was all about. Back in the early 30s and 40s, there was this thing called Amway. You guys heard of that? Mm -hmm. It was very successful because all you had to do is just basically share with people what you had, period. So anybody that got involved, they said, well, what do we do? Just share with somebody what you have. Everybody did it like that, and it was successful. Along the way, people got smart. You know what I mean? They started to complicate things. And all of a sudden, it wasn't easy anymore. You know, because we wanted to make it complicated. But it's just as simple as sharing with people what we're doing. So what we're doing today is we're creating an opportunity where people can actually learn from people that have done it already a system of what works all the time and it starts with you so this particular training you're getting here is that kind of training that it starts with you and that's because I'm the one doing the training mostly everybody else that teaches will teach you a training of how, do the, how is the business done and it's ABC you do it like this and that's it our position is a little bit different because we work a lot with the Latino community and we do this in Spanish all week long, every day, in a lot of different states, countries, and cities. And we've discovered that it has to start with the individual. It has to start with the person. Because if you're not the right person for what you want to do in life, it's kind of like having a destination without a roadmap. You know what I mean? It's like you're right here, and you want to travel to this location. I mean, you know where you want to go. You have goals and dreams and things you want to do and have and houses and cars and this and that and free time and travel. You know you want that. The question is how do you get there, right? Well, having this destination in life and being in this business without the education, it's kind of like not having this roadmap. So let's say you were going to go to Sacramento and you start in Los Angeles. How do you get there? I don't know. It's up north. <laughs> the first place you go get gas is, hey, I'm going to Sacramento. What do you think I should do? Well, hop on this freeway, then hop on the five, and then just go all the way north. And you start asking all these questions, you know? And people take you here and there and here and there and here and there. Because you, you don't know. And it's actually really, really. Hi. ¿Cómo estás? Special yeah. guest, sorry about the interruption, everybody. You know, everybody smile, don't look at us like that. Actually, they're looking We took a shower, so don't look at us like that. Because <laughs> you're late. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> we got a little nap. I, I just heard about that. I'll, have, I'll let them know. Yeah. Oh my God. So, with, without, a, without a road map, without a road map, in life, in business, 
in a relationship, in dealing with your kids in your house, in anything you do without a roadmap, you're gonna be lost. And you're gonna be doing things to see if it works. If I turn off the lights, you're gonna be like, <laughs> hey, lights are off, I can't see. Well, that's what people operate in life. Well, that's how they operate in this business. They sign up, they gladly pay, I like the product, no problem. Now, I, I wanna get to work, what do I do? The guy that invited you didn't never get taught anything, so he's like, I don't know, let's go talk to people. Okay, what do I say? <laughs> I know. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Well, you know what? Just uh, share the product. Okay, I will share the product, but uh, how do I share it? I don't know. Just uh, tell them how good it is. You know, that's how people are acting in sometimes in this business where they have no roadmap to success to get to that destination. It'll take some time. And believe me, our business is really funny. Give it six years if you don't quit. If you don't go anywhere, that's why I love you guys that are 21, 22, 24, 25, 18, just don't quit. Give it five years, guess what? You'll make a million dollars. Is that crazy? You stick around long enough, you'll make money in this business. Absolutely. It doesn't matter what you know or who you learn it from. You stick around long enough, you do this, you're gonna get there. But what if there's a way for you to like really get there quickly? and get rid of all this nonsense, because this is a bunch of headache. You don't want to leave your business to chance. Your life depends upon what you do today, <clears throat> presently, right now. You don't want to leave your business to chance to all of this crap, because one, one, at one point here you're gonna quit, here you'll quit, here you'll quit, somewhere you're gonna quit, you're gonna get frustrated, upset, and sad, and mad. So what we do is we cut that. <coughs> we cut that and we just say, straight shooter. Get there, get there as fast as possible. Yes, sir. How do you get there? Well, just like in school, you know, you know, you got to learn your ABCs. You do A, then you do B, then you do C, then you do D, and you do it like this, and you do this, and you do this, and you do that. That's sir. simple. You see, and I keep sharing this with people, and I was just talking to Lorianne about that earlier. In our training, we make it so simple. It is so easy when you learn how to do this business that it just goes like this, right over your head. It is so simple because as human beings, we want it complicated. We want to make it difficult because if it's not difficult, it's not worth doing. Because if it's not difficult, it probably doesn't work. Because if it's not difficult, maybe the guy I'm bringing is not gonna like it because it has to be difficult or else, you know what, this is so simple, why can't, you know, the, as humans, we automatically do that, we complicate things. So we make it easy to avoid all that. If you really pay attention and listen and read between the lines through all the trainings you receive and see how easy this is, you didn't just get this freedom from it. You're like, oh my God, this is really cool. You mean I don't have to be here until two o'clock in the morning? No. <laughs> no. No. Most women do this business two to three hours a day. Some men got offended last time because I said I like women. I hope so. Okay. <laughs> That's a video. <laughs> I knew you would get that one. But I do like women. Women are much easier to work with. As a matter of fact, women are less complicated when it comes to business than men. And they have less time. They got a demanding husband and kids at home. And they have two to three hours to get the job done during the day in this business. So they come in at 10 o'clock in the morning and they leave at two in the afternoon. And they use that time like surgery. Boom, 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 done. And they're yes. out of here. And guess what? Friday comes, they did more than a man that's here all day long. <laughs> Isn't that yes. crazy? It is so wacko and I'm like, wow, why can't men learn that? Well, what it is is this. Women know their time. They know their time. Men, sometimes, they know time, but they don't know their time. They think they have all the time in the world. And the reality is, there's something that we teach here. This business is so simple. All we do is we teach you how to surgically look at your time and then just cut it into pieces and get things done and do it when you're supposed to and then just work <coughs> as a team. And then with the team that you have, Learn how to edify each other, work with each other, create the ambiance and the presence of the whole place, create the whole atmosphere. Exactly. Use it for like two or three hours, make it happen, get it done, go eat, go home. Teach people to do the same thing. Here's the thing. <clears throat> the way that we are training people right now, 
is so simple. Anybody can do this. Anybody can do this business. The way that we're teaching you guys how to go through this A, B, C, D, E, F, G. If anybody can do this, you have no problem becoming a multimillionaire within the next two to three years. But let's just keep the numbers low and simple. Let's say every person you add into your business can help you make on a weekly basis, let's just say $100. Let's just call it that. Anybody you bring into your business on a weekly basis can help you make $100. Can we say that? Mm -hmm. It's not bad, it's not that hard. Let's go further than that. Let's say in a month, not in a week, every person you add into your business mm -hmm. can give you $100. Check this out. The way that we teach this business is so simple. It's like you have to just bring two people. So you build your right team and your left team and you get started with that. Mm -hmm. That's it. And then you have to help them bring two people. They build their right team and their left team, their right team and their left team. That's simple. And then they do the same thing. They bring two people. They build the right team and the left team. And that's the way this works. It's very, very simple. No, no <coughs> science behind this. So guess what? If you have eight hours in the day to work, and in your eight hours, you talk to 10 people, if those 10 people come and talk to you in eight hours, in one day, Five say yes. I want to check this out. I want to try it. Two actually sign up. Just two. Every day. You do this for eight hours. Every day. Check this out. This is what happens. That's what you end up with. Now, these two will have the same result you did next week. <coughs> so now you have two plus you, which is three. It's called the art of duplication. It's part of what we're teaching here. Where they also have eight hours, and you have eight hours. So now you have how many hours working? 24. 20? 24. 24 <coughs> hours of your business working. So let's say you want to work tomorrow and you work 24 hours, could you do that? No. You could not do that. <laughs> but let's say you came here, and you came with two people, could you work 24 hours? Absolutely. Yes, yes. because <coughs> everything they do, they get paid for. You get paid for it as well. But it gets interesting, because you take it to the following week, now you have three people, right, which is like you right here. Each one got two, just like you. Of the ten that they <coughs> talked to, you. we're talking about six. six. Nine. That's actually nine people. But you're talking in terms of hours. You have 24, and then now you here you have 48. So now that's a total of 12. One. 72. 72 hours. Can you work 72 hours tomorrow? No. There's no, there's no 72 hours in tomorrow. But if you bring the people that you got last week and the ones that they brought as well, could you do 72 hours? Yes. See, this is the crazy concept. And this is just a preamble to my training, by the way. Just giving you guys a little bit of an example of what we're talking about. The way that we teach and train, we teach and train for you to be effective on a daily basis with the hours that you have. And to do that, you gotta be able to teach the rest of the people that you work with to do the same thing you're doing. But to do that, you gotta work on yourself. And that's where we left it off last week. See, we can go into this, and this gets even better, right, Armando? Yes, sir. This part <coughs> is great. And I'll tell you why it gets great. This is just with like a total of nine people, 72 hours, right? What do you say tomorrow you have, let me see, what did I see last time I looked? 192,060 people in my team. You multiply that. Does anybody have a calculator? Oops. Mm. So 
multiply 192,000 <coughs> times 8 hours. How much is that? That's 150, no, 1 million 536,000. A day. So tomorrow, when I wake up in the morning, I'm going to put in 1 million 536 hours. I can't even imagine. I laugh. Yeah. <laughs> because there is that many people in my organization. If half of them are working, tomorrow I'm going to have 750 something thousand hours <laughs> worth of work being worked tomorrow. <laughs> and I'm sitting here talking to you guys. Does that make sense? This yes. is what this business is. It's so beautiful. And you know what? The people are gladly doing it because they're all getting paid big money. And you'll be able to see that later on when the, when the actual presentation starts. Today we're putting the car in front of a horse only because I have to leave and go to the airport. I have to go to um, Puebla, uh, Mexico to start Mexico. Mexico will officially start Mexico on the 4th and 4th of the Mayo. And we're sticking around for Cinco de Mayo and we're coming back. But um, interesting though, that when you look at this, you're like, oh my God, how can somebody work 1,500,000 in one day? Well, you cannot. You can only do it when you have that many people working you know, with you. I didn't say the word for you because nobody works for me. Everybody works for themselves. But we're all in the same organization and we're all working with each other. Like I said, you bring two, they bring two, they bring two each. And they start working with each other and they become teams and we all work together. It's that simple. But you see, none of this can happen because the way that we actually approach it is unless you work on yourself, that has to be done first. When you get up in the morning and you look at the mirror, from your head to your toe, that is the tool you use in this business. Absolutely. That's it. People ask me, what do you use when you go to work? Nothing. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's it. Do you have to go to Staples and buy any supplies? No. Nope. You just have to use yourself. The more you improve your tool, which is you, the more money you make. Isn't that cool? So the key to success here is not looking good, but being the best. Can everybody say be the best? Be, be the, the best. best. Be the best. Let me show you why. Here's the thing. Last best, time, best, best. last time we <laughs> actually left it at a very interesting spot, yes. didn't we? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna just recap for the new people because they didn't see this. Three trainings ago, we talked about the homework because we do do homework here was create a contact list. So, how many of you guys created a contact list? Without the judgment. <laughs> okay. And the contact list was to be huge, right? And I gotta tell you guys, this is really cool. Armando uh, sponsored a lady uh, this week, last week? Yes, sir. This week. This and week. As the minute I approached him here in the, in the big room, he said, come meet her. So I met the lady, and he says, look at her contact list. I swear to you, it was a book like that. She had like four or five pages? Four or five pages. Actually, she wrote about 143 names. In wow. Right there. On the spot. On the spot, yeah. Mm -hmm. On the spot. And she's, she's like been here every day. And it's crazy, because every name, she's like, move, 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 just writing them all down. And I was looking at that book, like, oh my god. I said, I hope the people that are taking my class did that. But how many of you guys did it again? Raise your hand. First time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. And if, if I may say something. Uh, yes. Uh, she started and she put 17 names on her list. And she was all excited. Uh -huh. go, That's great. But where is the rest? She goes, wow. what do you mean? You go, well, this is the people you think they're going to listen to you or they're going to, that you think they're going to say yes to your opportunity, right? You go, yeah, yeah. You go, what is the list that you, the, the people that you think that they're not going to say? The chicken yes. list. And the maybes and the, I mean, and she started going like after everybody, so she didn't prejudge anybody and she ended up with a hundred and eight, how many, how many, 47 it's names? It's a lot, something it's a lot, like lot of, it was page after page after mm -hmm. page. And it was well written too, because he had names, last names, phone numbers, addresses, emails, it was a really good list. Oh, and I tell you, this is a brand new person, that's like a dream person in network marketing you get to work with, because that person's showing you, we want to get to work. Sh let's share this with everybody that I know. And here's the reason why, because everybody already knows that lady that used to do Avon, Shaxton, Mary Kay, Jaffra, Princess House, Herbalife, you know, Noni Kayani, Ray, just one of the Sango. <laughs> <laughs> all of them, you know what I mean? And they know all these people. 
So you never know, you get one of those persons, and they're like, hey, I know how to do this business. You know what, thank you for bringing me. What's your name again? Christian. Christian, just step aside, let me get this done. And then, boom, they take off. Yes. Like, man, I brought this lady, and she just by herself did the whole thing. Well, you got lucky. Well, what's your job now? Find another one and put him on this side. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah, and do you think that a young person gets prejudged? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, he's only 18, what's he gonna do? He's gonna bring his tia. His tia was doing a one. she knows the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's that simple. So we also left, the A part of the homework was create a contact list. The B part of the homework was put down some goals, right? You guys did that too? Yep. See, and that's really important, because that's what we're talking about. To get from a place, from an A to a B place, from A to B, B being the destination, being your goals, you gotta have them written down. See, so not only do we teach you how to do it really fast and get there, but we teach you where is it that you wanna go in the first place. Because you know, you get people in the business, they're like, okay, so what do you wanna do in this business? What do you wanna do? What's your goal? What do you wanna have in life? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's weird. People really just don't know. But then we teach them an exercise, and then they really get what they wanna do. And then their goals that they wrote on the piece of paper, which is this, it, has, it becomes a living document. Because you can take stuff out, and you can replace it with stuff you want to put in. And oh, no, no, I don't like that anymore. And then you put that out, put something else in. It becomes a living document. So as long as you have your A to B, which is your destination, you can always change it. You can always change it. It's a living document. You can add to it, take away from it, and all that good stuff. It's perfect. And people don't do that. You want a really fast, surefire way to success? <coughs> create some goals. So i got to give you an example. Here's this gentleman. What's your first name? Martin. Martin. All right. Looks pretty, huh? Yeah. How many guys would like to have him as a son? Perfect. I would. That's a son. That's a son. Mom's right here today. He's a mom today. I'm, I'm really proud of some of the young guys that we have because, I mean, they look the part and yeah. they're just very professional guys. You know, and it's if it was my son, I'd be like so proud of him just being around us because this is all just positive and just motivational. You know what I mean? This doesn't get tied in our schools, which is another subject we get into. Our schools are teaching mm -hmm. people how to become employees, not how to become your, your own yes. self-made person. Mm -hmm. And we get so caught up on that for 15 to 20 years that by the time we're done with school, we're like, you want to come check out this opportunity? No, mm -hmm. I want a job. <laughs> you want to come check out this opportunity as a business? No, I want a job. <clears throat> well, 20 years of school, school, school is like, you you got to be an employee, an employee, an employee. No, I want a job. You know, it happens to all of our kids. I'm glad you know you guys are here because you guys are very open-minded. You're learning this stuff. You know, as long as you have that goal, but you got to create it. You get to change it and switch it and make it bigger as big as you want. And that's what we actually did the very first week, and it was really cool because we talked about the mind. The mind is very important. You can put a lot of things in your mind, a lot of stuff. I mean, from <coughs> games, video games, and porn, all the way to <laughs> like the most positive things. No, I'm serious. Successful thinking. The positive things in the world. Sex sells. And not only that, now they're selling sex. It's all over the internet. I got my little baby, she's six years old. I was checking out, you know, her what she was been into because she uses a small iPad, iPod. And then I saw she was looking up some toys. It was like a Halo game. And she also wrote the word toys. Under all the things that she was searching for, there was a bunch of sex. I was like, so I clicked on one of those websites, it was adult toys. I was like, wait a minute, how does that get to a child, you know? And it's just, it's out there. And it's, you know, I'm not talking about it being right or wrong. It's just that you can do anything with your want, what you want with your mind. Whatever you want. And you are have the freedom to put into it whatever you want to put into it. You know, whatever it is. And it could be a business. <laughs> <laughs> Get your mind. So we have a lot of suggested books. You know, Think and Grow Rich, The Richest Man in Babylon, uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Think Big by Al Trump. Or Donald Trump, that was good. <laughs> yeah. That think it, that think big is so good. I did a whole training on it, and I have it on CD. Awesome book. I love that book. He's very aggressive, and he sounds mean when he's writing that book. But you think about it, like, man, he's right. Yeah. Because you know the meek and the weak are going to suffer. You know. He's the weak. He says life out there is for the bulls and the lions. And you think about it, like, yeah, but he's he's right. You know. I mean, but anyway, that's a really good book. Try it out. There's also really good books like um, the, science of, yeah. the Science of Getting Rich. And then I always suggest to people, if you want to learn a lot of motivational techniques, you want to know how to motivate people, you want to learn all the motivational catchphrases, there's one book that wrote all of them before anybody ever 
ever wrote another book. It's called Proverbs. It's yes. in the Bible. Absolutely. It's an awesome book, man. Proverbs. <laughs> if you read Proverbs, you're like, oh my God, uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad says that. Yeah, it's in Proverbs. Yeah. Hey, this guy says yeah, it's in Proverbs. <laughs> That's what we say in your goals. Make that a goal. Body. We talked about that. I don't know how your body looks, what it looks like, or how it feels like, but you know what? If you want it to look better, make it better. If you think you're a little bit too fat, too skinny, too tall, whatever it is, work on that. Because there's, it makes no sense for you to walk around with money and you're about to die because your body can't take it. Yeah. I myself, right now, I'm actually working on that because I'm actually now doing more exercise, I'm eating a little less, and I'm actually taking more of our own pills, and I'm doing some breathing exercises in the morning with yoga so that I can relax because I'm overly stressed. 196,000 people can stress you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys stress me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the body, you can't take care of it. You know, my wife is beautiful. She's tall, gorgeous, you know. I don't want the Sancho to take all that money. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. But hey, a million seven a year, right? Uh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta. Two million next year. Can you imagine? <laughs> Spirit. We talked about that a lot. You see, it doesn't matter what church you go to or what you believe is, whether it's Muhammad, Buddha, Christ, you know, the Virgin Mary. It's all religion, but they all believe in God. Get close to your creator for one major and most important reason. When you walk through that door and you want to talk to somebody about business, that person's spirit will talk to your spirit. And that person will say, I like that guy. He's pretty cool. You know, he might have his hair still parados. <laughs> <laughs> or they might say, you know what, Ugh, he looks really good. He has a tie and everything. But, Ugh, he gave me the willies. <laughs> it's got to do with this. You know, you want to sign up more people? Get in tune with that part of your, your life, power. whatever that may be. And it's going to work out perfectly for you. The last part, which is the part that we can do something about, was finances. You work on this, and you will actually get someplace. I'll tell you this right now. If you start working and putting it on paper as a goal, I want to get here. From here, I want to go there. Perfect. Well, first month, I want to make $1,000 a month. <coughs> Second month, I want to make $3,000 a month. Third month, I want to make $5,000 a month. Sixth month, I want to make $7,000 a month, and so on and so forth. This is so beautiful because with numbers, you can do a lot. They don't lie to you. Two plus two is what? Four. four. Not all you went to school. <laughs> <laughs> two plus two is? Four. four. It'll never change. You see? Two yeah. plus two this way. Not the max on line. Or two plus two this way. Doesn't it's matter. Still four. It's still four. The thing is, when you do the math and you tell me, I want to make $1,000 a week. Well, guess all I have to do is say, okay, to make $1,000 a week, okay, you got to actually do this. You got to have these many people on your left and these many people on your right. If they're buying $50 a month in product, <coughs> they'll give you 